smoke light comes on red when smoke is detected in the respective compartment. Discharge push button when pressed the single bottle is discharged in the related cargo compartment forward or aft. Test push button. Enable smoke detection and extinguishing system to be tested. When pressed for at least 3 seconds until it is released indications can be checked on the ECAM and on the cargo smoke panel, red smoke lights come on twice and discharge lights comes on amber. Note, the cargo vent isolation valves, if installed, will close momentarily. Whereas the discharge toggle switch when it is switched to agent 1 allows the discharge of the bottle 1 into the related cargo compartment. When it is switched to agent 2 the discharge of the bottle 2 into the related cargo compartment. The agent 1 must be selected first. Discharge light. Comes on amber when the bottle is depressurized. For one bottle version when the bottle has been discharged into a compartment the FWD and AF discharge light is on. For two bottle version the dish one light comes on few seconds after agent one activation. The dish two light comes on 40 minutes after the agent two activation due to a slow discharge ensuring sufficient agent concentration for 205 minutes. The discharge agent two light comes on one hour after the agent one activation. It indicates that the bottle two must be discharged in order to maintain the required extinguish and concentration. It goes of when the agent 2 has been selected. The smoke light on Gen 1 push button switch comes on when smoke is detected in the avionics bay. Off position enables the crew to isolate the AC bus system from the Gen 1 and to connect the Gen 1 output to the left and right inner tank pumps 1. Fire light on engine control panel identifies the engine to be shut down. It comes on red when a fire warning is triggered. APU fire light located at external power panel comes on red in case of APU fire and when the warning is triggered. An APU shutdown is initiated without cooling. The external horn sounds. Few seconds after the fire warning the fire extinguisher bottle is automatically discharged into the APU compartment. Note the fire light goes off when the fire has been extinguished. APU shut off push button which is also located on external power panel allows the ground crew to shut down the APU when there is an emergency situation. When it is pressed an APU emergency shutdown is initiated. When an APU fire warning has been triggered pressing this push button also silences the external horn. Agent push buttons. These buttons are active only when the related fire push button has been manually popped out. No lights the related agent push button is not active. White squib light the related agent push button is active and for discharging the related fire extinguisher bottle. It must be briefly pushed. White squib and amber discharge light comes on when the related fire extinguisher bottle has lost pressure. Note the discharge and squib lights are also triggered when the related test PB is pressed but the related agent PB is not active. Fire push buttons. The normal position is in and guarded. The red light comes on regardless of fire push button position. Whenever the respective fire warning is activated. When it is manually popped out. The oral fire warning stops. The fire extinguisher squibs are armed and for. An engine fire button the following related valves are closed fuel LP hydraulic fire shut off bleed and pack. Also generator is deactivated and the FADEC supply is cut off. An APU fire button, the following related valves are closed fuel LP bleed and cross bleed. Also the generator is deactivated and the APU fuel pump stops. Test push buttons. Allows the crew to test the operation of the fire detection and extinguishing systems. When pressed the related lights come on. Fire push squib discharge and the related engine start fire light. Also if AC power available the master warning flashing lights and the ECAM fire procedure. Note during the test the squib lights come on only if the discharge supplies are available. Blower and extract push button switches. In case of smoke detected in the avionics compartment the blower and extract fault light also comes on. When both push button switches are in the override position air flows from the air conditioning system and then overboard. 
only the extract fan continues to run.